Bonjour tout le monde, or hello everyone, and welcome to Paul Headed Mark's channel on YouTube. And where else you find me? So today I'm doing a review. I've just not long eaten my um, ready meal for a pound or under, so now I have dessert. And that will be, sorry, my nose, is Monolite's Crumble Inspired. And this is more like crumble inspired rhubarb crumble and custard flavored yogurt. Now, if you remember, I've done a couple of reviews in the past on these more like inspired things. I think it was, I, f I think it was on, uh, I forgot what it was on, but I, I, it was a uh, yeah, cherry bait water tart um, yogurt, and I thought it was pretty nice myself. And they've had they had a coffee inspired one. Uh, and uh, in the past, and they've got another one now, another coffee inspired one. But these ones is a bit more for winter. It's a gingerbread latte one, and another one. You get a pack of six any supermarket, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Morrison's, Waitrose, Iceland you name it, we can get it there. They're always on offer. So this one I think was 80p or thereabouts, and this was from Tesco's. This is a limited edition, Muller Light Crumble inspired rhubarb and crumble. Custard flavour yogurt, 99 calories or less, ah, and it's fat free. So we'll give it a whirl. Now I love rhubarb crumble. I really do. So if this see if this is as good as that, or is it going to be f taste of rhubarb? I'm looking for that crumble flavour that you get, you know, because that's what makes it. So let's have a look. So there we go. First and foremost, it's a pinkish colour, like rhubarb, I guess. Reasonably thick, like the ones I done last year. Uh, a lot of people don't like these. I've seen a couple of reviews on YouTube, not this particular one, but this is this is new. But uh, the cherry bet, well, I don't know and stuff. They say they didn't taste of. Uh, you could only taste the cherry. Yes, there was a distinct taste of cherries on that, but you could taste the like the. The Bakewell tart thing, I could taste it anyway. Maybe I've got super good taste buds, I don't know. But anyway, let's move on. Let's not drag this out any longer than it needs to be. So, yeah, it's got a nice colour. It's, let's say it's quite thick. It's like a light pink, I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but there we go. Let's have a go. It smells, I can see again, again, it tastes like it's got that smell. Of, um, yeah, well, you can smell the rhubarb in there as well, but it's got that also that smell of the pastry, you know, the crumble on top. So that's what I'm looking for, really. Let's have a go. Bear with Yeah, it's nice. See, I can smell the crumble topping. I'm not tasting that, I'm tasting rhubarb, which is not, I like rhubarb, but I wouldn't say anything more than that, it's more of a rhubarb yogurt, a good one at that, but that's not what it's selling itself as, you know, it's put itself in the crumble inspired, rhubarb crumble and custard, I'm not tasting custard, I'm not tasting crumble, but I'm tasting rhubarb, it's okay. But, you know, if they're going to bring out these inspired yogurts, like the Decay Shop inspired, this is a crumble inspired, they'd really need to up their game and get them to taste exactly what they're advertising because this is just a, a gimmick, in other words, and people eventually won't buy them, even if they turn out to be really nice because people think, eh, it's just going to taste of like whatever the base thing. So, this is rural crumble. People think it's just rhubarb, and in this case, it is the cherry bakewell cake shop bomb. Some people say it just tastes of cherries. On that occasion, I did taste the uh, like the cherry bakewell flavour, but this one, out of ten, I, I'd give it for what it's supposed to be four out of ten. For rhubarb flavour, I'd give it eight out of ten. But that's not what it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be crumble, so... Yeah, mm, nah. 
anyway guys I will let you all go now and do your thing so until next time have a great time wherever you are if it's morning afternoon evening all free if you're very lucky <laughs> I will say um, tatty bye